Uh, when I was three, I sort of started getting unwell. And what that led to was uh, effectively uh, me being diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, and then um, liver disease, which is uh, primary sclerosis and cholangitis. Uh, in about 2000 and sort of late 2012, 2013, I was actually diagnosed with severe depression and anxiety. Uh, so I effectively had to adapt to a, a new set of rules uh, with that, which was a difficult experience, not just for myself, but also for my family and friends. But we sort of all eventually came to grips with it. I think as healthcare providers and working in the ICT space and the informatics space, it's very easy for us to lose the focus of what of what we're doing and why we're doing it. Having a patient story puts puts it into perspective and it demonstrates that the effort that you're putting into whatever it is that you're doing is actually going to make a, a difference to some to a person at the end of the day. Our aim, uh, at least from a solution design standpoint, is how can we reduce that stress for the end user, make it a really kind of frictionless experience and a companion um, that helps them through the process. I'm only recently shifted to the electronic side of things. So it means that, I mean, right now on the other side of the world to where I live, I can actually take my phone out of my pocket and access my record right here, which is fantastic for me. My discharge summaries, uh, blood pathology, uh, record of vaccinations to date, all the repayments I get on my appointments is all there if I want to look at it. Prior to that, most of it was paper. Uh, I remember in uh, my kids' hospital, they'd actually have to call ahead uh, for my appointments because with all my medical record, I think there was three separate folders that they couldn't bring out with their own arms, so they had to stick it on a trolley and bring it out for my appointments. Whether it's that end user as a clinician, they're spending way less time in the software and way more time with the patient. And for the patient themselves, um, they're able to take care of themselves and look after their own health a lot better um, in a much more intuitive and happy fashion. For me, if we've been able to um, affect one person making a change in the way they deliver care to their patients in their roles, then I, I think that's, to me, that, that's absolutely worthwhile and I couldn't have asked for a better outcome, really. It's about staying healthy and being well. It's really something that is not over for negotiation as far as I'm concerned. It's something that everyone should have access to and it's something that should be there to support everyone no matter where they come from or what exactly they're dealing with in life. So knowing that people that are doing these things care this much about what's going on is, is very comforting and very reassuring to know. He has been uh, a patient who has been in the health system uh, most all of his life. A terribly unfortunate situation for him allows me to get a real perspective um, and a real kind of moment of context uh, to realise what people go through and how we can all work together to make that a better experience for everyone.